And back now at 8.38, when you're training to become a doctor, how do you learn the art of bedside manner? NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, is here with a look at one an innovative program. Good morning. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. It is innovative. I hear from medical school professors all the time who say that students come in eager and passionate about helping others, and then they leave as cynical and harsh doctors. Well, one doctor in Arizona is trying to change that by offering a first-of-its-kind class for young medical students in a place that you just wouldn't expect. Sir, nice to meet you. Thank you for Dr. Alan Hamilton isn't your typical neurosurgeon. After mentoring young physicians for 25 years, he's come to believe that the need in medicine is not another technological advance, but a return to the basic principle of communication. So instead of just teaching students in a hospital, he brings some here. Breathe and relax. To a corral. So how does a professor of neurosurgery end up with two horses behind him? Well, I moved out here specifically to do neurosurgery by day and horses by night. <laughs> We're going to find a place to introduce ourselves where it's safe. Hamilton has pioneered a unique class for first-year medical students at the University of Arizona Medical Center, teaching every kind of skill they would need to approach a patient. But in this class, the patient is a horse. I put my arm around him like this, so the whole time, even when I go through his blind spot, he knows exactly where I am. The whole thing started and one day when I uh, was in a hurry. We had had a case in the emergency department. I was delayed getting to clinic, and we just burst into this room because we were in such a hurry. And this woman, she just screamed when we walked in the room because we came in so fast. And I, I just remember thinking to myself, boy, I never would have done that if that was a horse. A lesson this seasoned surgeon wishes he had learned at an earlier stage in his career. And because of that, but he's determined to make an impact on the young doctors of tomorrow. I'm studying books instead of focusing on patient care. And so this was just one class that I could do as an elective to try and better learn how to interact with animals and learn how to use my body language to, to interact with patients. And now he's making eye contact with you because you approached him in a very sensitive way. It's a lot like a patient. Yeah. They even learn the art of giving immunizations. Pull back out. Rub it. Nicely done. Hamilton wants to instill a different kind of knowledge in America's next generation of doctors, helping them to overcome fear and build confidence. Do you think this kind of program can improve the doctor-patient relationship? Absolutely. But I'll, I'll tell you probably more important is it'll, it saves doctors. Our salvation is going to be to go back to what really makes us fulfilled, which is this essence of human-human interaction and the ability to take somebody in the most dire of circumstances and say, grab my hand, I know where we're going, okay, we're in this together. Dr. Hamilton's class has been offered since 2001, and now similar courses are offered at Stanford University and the University of Medicine and Dentistry of New Jersey. It is a real lesson in the art of communication yeah. from animal to man. And I tell you, these students learned a lot. And I love that other universities are picking up yes. on it. It's, it's really cool.